<coughs> hey, so I know it has been a long time since I made this uh, live stream last, but we were in uh, Egypt and when we came home, I had like this stomach kind of thing. So I've been, uh, <laughs> you can't call it ill, but more like transformating the last uh, few weeks, almost three weeks now. Which is okay, it's pretty cool. It's a lot about, so this is why I do this update now. This time it's a lot about surrendering. Surrendering to wherever you are in life. Because we are ever changing. Nothing ever remains the same. But when you come from one structure and you have to transform into a new, you need to break up the old in order of getting into the new one. So <laughs> in these uh, in-between periods, we tend to get pretty frustrated. We tend to be like, why can't I do this? Or what is that? And how am I reacting? And why am I reacting? And the most important part to remember is truly this surrendering to where you are. Because most of what we are dealing with is our thoughts, our fear, our confusions and disbelief. So no matter which situation you have or you are in, if you remove the fear of what is wrong, <laughs> the situation ain't that bad. So a good uh, example is that uh, my stomach has been broken for three weeks. Oh my God. <laughs> but it's kind of beautiful because I, I went out every day. I did my, uh, my training and then I did one thing. So I told myself, you're allowed to do one thing a day. And for the rest, I was literally just laying in my bed a whole day. Oh my God, no, our whole night. So if you look at it energetically, my body has been pretty busy the whole year. And it needs to restore. It needs to transform and understand the energies that has been, especially since Egypt. So I need that time to recover. And when I fully surrender to the moment, instead of fighting it, it is actually pretty beautiful. It's actually pretty cozy just lying in your bed, you know, like with teddy bears and a uh, hundred of pillows and maybe not a hundred, but at least three. <laughs> so every every single moment in life has its own beauty has its own value every single moment in life um, even sitting being stuck to this window apparently <laughs> every single moment in life uh, can be magical if we chose to choose to look at it that way I um, so I wanted to make this live stream now because, hey Natalia, <laughs> um, because I see that a lot of people are in this in-between phase, a lot of people, and it's also because of this time of year, it's time to seek within, you can even see the animals does it, right? They are out all summer and they go like for the winter, so it's a natural process that it's time to look more within and surrender to that. Surrender to sleeping more, for those who need that. <laughs> but relaxing more, looking inside, truly being with yourself. So, um, another reason I wanted to make this live stream is that I have had a few questions popping up of, okay, it sounds like this. I've been working on myself for years. I've been working on myself and my emotions, but they are still there. Why can I not become free from that within my body? Uh, especially people who have um, problems with their uh, physical body. So listen to this. There's a very big difference between observing your feelings and truly feeling them. We're going to rewind. So very big f different <laughs> between observing your feelings 
observing, observing them, looking at your feelings, and to actually truly allow them and feel them. So when we do this work of looking uh, which emotions are stuck in our body, what we can do is we can look at the situations, what it is, where it comes from, and that we can do as an observant, observance omen. You guys are going to have to learn me how to pronounce this word. Yeah? Ob- observe, observe that, like a free perspective kind of person, so we understand it with our brains. But if you truly want to release it, then you have to feel the emotion. You have to become the emotion in that moment you want to release it. So if you realize within your body is grief, it's not enough to just say, okay, I have grief. No, if you truly want to become free from it, then you allow the grief. You allow in that moment the grief to come up. It can be tears. It can be anger. It doesn't matter what it is. But fully allow that to be expressed that there is within you, to be expressed, to be seen, to be heard, and therefore to be loved. So when we truly give that space for a moment, (laughs) there is no longer need for that to stay within you, and then you become free from it. (laughs) Ta-da! So... um, If this went way too fast, you guys can just push this little button that says uh, rewind and then you can hear it one more time. Mm -hmm. I have learned, I have come to learn that I might speak a bit fast once in a while. So that was really important for me to share uh, because in this time a lot of people are dealing with and working on (laughs) getting uh, rid of old pain and old uh, patterns and da di da di da die and many people tend to get frustrated because they're like I did this before I've been here before why am I here again so try this try to not absor- that's it's because we are getting so smart like I want to I want to say it like this you guys are brilliant you're geniuses you get more and more spiritually conscious and conscious and it's beautiful wow you are so far here's the catch (laughs) it's more conscious aware we becomes in our brains sometimes we forget to do the emotional work behind so this is what i mean when you have the ability to observe everything sometimes you might forget to truly allow yourself to feel it to truly allow yourself to go into that emotion. Is it really necessary? Well, if it still are within your body system, yes, it is necessary. The beautiful part of it is that it's only emotions. It's only feelings. Who cares? It's a little bit of crying, a little bit of anger, a little bit of laughing. But in the end, <laughs> that's it. There's nothing more to it. Especially if it's old, if you have old stuck whatever stuff inside of you do not fear it do not fear it because it is only emotions it can't harm you anymore whatever you were afraid of whatever once were happened to you it's not there it's not a physical threat and it will no longer be a emotional threat (laughs) when you fully allow it to transit through your body system so this was so important to share in this exact moment so i thought this cannot wait one second longer hey brother um yeah so this period is a lot of surrendering to the now and as people are working on these suppressed emotions and why am i not there yet i love this one why i'm not there yet but where do you want to be i want to be there Do you know what there is there? Yeah, it's just pure love and happiness. Okay. How great do you think it is? Huh? (laughs) I'm sorry. So to fully get to wherever you want to be, you have to fully accept the here and now. You know, you are perfect. You are beautiful. You are even magical. 
just because of you, 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 you might be twisted. You might have some things that you need to work on. Hallelujah. Because that's part of existence. That's part of playing this game called human life. So you are absolutely amazing because you are in this exact moment with everything of what you may hold. And that is so important to remember because as we are rising within spirituality, as we are becoming conscious about that we need to become free, um, we tend to, to focus a lot on achieving that. So this spirituality, which is actually created from pure love and freedom within and harmonized flow of existence, becomes a goal. It becomes a journey where we are trying to reach a certain point, where we try to reach a certain level and actually it becomes goals. So our whole spiritual trip of freedom becomes a new school where we have to reach higher levels all the time. No. Well, yes and no. <laughs> spirituality is individually. Spirituality is just a word. What it's all about is about you learning to listen to your heart. It's all about you learning to trust your own journey in life. I'm stuck in the window again. Accepting how you are. The creation that you are. And, and when you truly listen to your heart, you will know which patterns are not good for you. Because you feel it in your essence. And in that moment, you have the choice to change it or not. Because you know if it's good for you or not. <laughs> okay, so I love that we become com blah, 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 that we are becoming more conscious. It is beautiful. Oh, I see my brother, my twin brother is here. Yeah, he just became a dad. Just saying, it's so beautiful. I can't wait to see his my little nephew. Anyhow, um, so I really love that we are becoming more conscious and that this whole wave of spirituality is hitting us. People are becoming more and more aware of themselves, aliens, everything is energy, everything in the middle and everything in between. What we need to be aware of is such a hard word, but need to know is that in each direction in life, and it doesn't matter if it's spirituality, if it's school, if it is religions, it is always guided by somebody. And those somebody <laughs> will always have their own perspectives, their own opinions. And we who are following them are following a certain direction. Within that direction, it might be painted by their own perspectives or perceptions. So in spirituality, and it comes up more and more about these, uh, what do you call them, holy moly's? No, guru, 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 yeah, gurus. <laughs> uh, that there are a lot who are not so pure as uh, we think in the beginning. So it is happening as it were with religion that if we blindly follow someone here on earth who says something without truly following our own hearts and feeling it truly in every cell of our bodies, we are not being true to the role that we are playing here. And then we are just creating a new religion. And that was never the purpose. Well, it was never the purpose to start with, actually, with the religions. But anyways, let's do it differently. So, why is she blah blahing so much? Because I want to tell you guys, it is beautiful that the world is wakening up. And it's beautiful, there's so much consciousness, awareness to be shared in every single moment. It's beautiful how much we can learn and expand in this time reality. Um, so much is going on and it's truly a blessing to be 
part of this time and to be incarnated in this time. But we need to remember to have ourselves with ourselves all the time. Like truly, no matter what we are learning or what people are saying, double check in your heart. Does this feel pure to me? Does this feel right to me? Does this truly feel like this is my path to walk? So, actually, <laughs> actually that was all I, I wanted to, I really wanted to share with you guys. Why I love this sun in my face? It looks like I'm the most white person on the planet. Anyhow, <laughs> I love that it's here. Sun, I love you. I haven't seen you for days. I'm so grateful. <laughs> um, yeah, so <laughs> I truly wanted to share that with you in this uh, in this moment and and just like for myself also uh, I think I wrote it not so long ago that in the beginning I really wanted to leave this place like oh my god earth ah but <laughs> as as older I get no but in time I, I truly learned to to love it you know and I believe that is really necessary and I'm sorry I saw a lot of birds I just got so happy with them <laughs> to become free inside is about following energies if we are in resistance of the world what the world will show us is everything that we can be in resistance of if we truly surrender to or just the moments that we can surrender to it Things that we are grateful for in life. And it can be the biggest things and the smallest thing. Like, for example, I love all these birds at this moment. They're always flying together like one union, right? It can only make you happy. <laughs> so, and now the birds again. So, if we truly, truly can find these things in life that we are grateful for, we tap into that energy of beauty and of joy and from that we can create more love within ourselves, more freedom within ourselves and we can transcend that out and we can create that together as a grid all over the world. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so for me lately, I, as I told you, I've been uh, pretty <laughs> slightly ill the last few weeks and I really, in these moments of feeling like, Bleh, I really learn to be grateful for the small things, like my pillows, or that I actually have a bed, you know. Or in the beginning, I could be awake for like four hours a day. I was so grateful for those four hours. I'm so grateful for every step that I could take with my feet in the grass and and sometimes we just need to remember that these moments we think is heavy. It's truly created also for us to understand how beautiful everything else is that we tend to take for granted. So I guess that was all I wanted to share with you guys for now. And uh, please let me know where you are within yourself at this moment. If any of these things I just shared is resonated with, resonating with you and where you are in your path in this moment. I will be traveling a lot. Uh, not that that is new. But I... Uh, yeah, so sometimes I come a little bit behind with these live streams. But I really want to really learn to get better to do it. Because I have so much I wish to share with you guys. It's like plopping down to my head <laughs> so mm, I will work on that I will be going to uh, Hungary next in I think one or two weeks I'm not so good with the dates so yeah surrendering to this now so I can be ready to whatever is to come anyways I wish you guys a beautiful beautiful evening and no matter what you think, no matter how many times that thought is repeating itself in your head, stop it. 
You are beautiful and you are awesome. And you are exactly where you need to be in this exact moment. Fully surrender to it and everything will seem a lot clearer. I love you guys. Doo doo.